we are given f of x equals inverse sine of 3x and asked to determine f prime of x. First notice we do have a composite function where the inner function, which we often refer to as u, is 3x. So when applying the chain rule, if the inner function u is equal to 3x, we know we have to find du dx or u prime, which is a derivative of 3x with respect to x, which is three. And now if we take a look at our derivative formulas, the derivative of inverse sine of u with respect to x is equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity one minus u squared times u prime. Which means in our case, f prime of x is equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity one minus u squared, which in our case is the square root of the quantity one minus the square of three x, and then times u prime, which is times three. Simplifying, we have f prime of x equals three divided by the square root of the quantity one minus the square of three x is nine x squared. Looking at our second example, we are given g of x equals inverse cosine of four x cubed and asked to determine g prime of x. Once again, notice how we do have a composite function where the inner function u is now four x cubed. So if u is equal to four x cubed, notice u prime is equal to 12 x squared. And now if we take a look at the derivative formula for inverse cosine and compare it to the derivative formula for inverse sine, notice how the only difference is there's a negative sign included for the derivative of inverse cosine. And therefore, g prime of x is equal to negative, and then we have one divided by the square root of the quantity one minus u squared, which gives us the square root of the quantity one minus the square of four x cubed, and then times u prime, which is 12 x squared. Simplifying, we have g prime of x equals negative 12 x squared divided by the square root of the quantity one minus the square of four x cubed is 16 x to the sixth. I hope you found this helpful.